Definitely the coldest so far. Um, so we did the McCaffrey murder house on the Cottonbrook Road, and that was the Little River settlement. So today we're on our way to the other side of it, the dam side. <laughs> Should be, should be on to the first, first stop of our little tour here. This little bridge will, this should be the trail intersect, and there should be a sawmill site right here. The bridge, very slimy. Water to see on this strip. Found another bridge here. But I wanted to show you this waterfall over here. Made it to the first, first sign of life here. Any idea which one this one is? The last block of the sawmill company? Could be. Seems like it would need to be closer to the water though. But it could be a, one of their buildings for sure. Some brick, and that band is We made it to the last block sawmill. Lots of equipment up here. You know what I found? Another one of those geocaches.
I think this is the third or fourth geocache we found up in this neck of the woods. I don't know when this one was started. I see 2017 on here, but there's 2016. The last one was from 2012. So, oh wow, I see 2010, 2011. She got a little wet, 2011. 09, fun. 09, 08. <laughs> Okay, there it is. Planted by a tail spinner. Oh wait, yeah, this one's this a lot This is going to right here. <laughs> I must say. It's taking some steam out of us here. We still haven't breaked for lunch. Or breakfast. breakfast. So. This is the last of our steam. We're probably going to eat at the top of this hill. It is muckery. All right. right. It's gotta be like the 15th bridge we've crossed. We are almost to lunch break lane here. All right. We have had breakfast now lunch, whatever we're calling it, and we're back on the road. Jasper Ayers Farm. This is definitely the barn. Another barn structure like on Cottonbrook Road. Big one, 20 by 40. Another big, uh, what was this? The last one I thought was a wagon wheel. Maybe this is a wagon wheel. Who knows? Maybe it's part of the silo. All right, the Patty Herbert farm. The remaining structure. Big old house foundation. All right, the next one, uh, next one should be real interesting. Just noticed Patty Herbert's barn over here. Be a shame not to go see it. I love all these old apple trees out here. They're everywhere. All up through there, apple trees. Yeah. Not much left of this barn, but what a wall. Can you imagine? Putting that thing together. You can see it just faintly past the bridge. The only standing structure on this little trip here. And this is the Goodell house. Amazing, it's still standing up here. And it 
looks like somebody has made us an entryway. Um, yep. Hold on, I gotta get a flashlight. Hopefully there's no any animals in here. Hello? <laughs> So lopsided and there's a basement. That is absolutely insanely crazy. Wow. Yeah. Can you see me? Wow. So dark. to see up here. There's a bedroom off to this side too. I know this is the kitchen. Just a little tiny kitchen. This was probably more likely the pantry or the larder. The kitchen would have been part of the big room. It would have been removed. Yeah. The stove and stuff would have been left alive. Like, like there's another bed to make look up at the ceiling. The stove would have been over there. Yeah. And that's where the kitchen was. Probably. Over here, yeah. there would have been the. Yeah, there's the faucet right there. Yeah. This is your only counter space. Yeah. And there's your dry goods and... And here's the stove, they've just moved it. Yeah. Probably because it's uh, easier supported against that. Yeah. See what the basement looks like. I'm sure it's fucking terrifying in here. I don't, I'm gonna stay up here. All, all kinds of no trespassing signs. All the, you can see right up the back side. Somebody left all their lunch degree uh, utensils here. <laughs> That's why it like almost seems like it might have been a camp. Yeah. You know, before it was donated to the state. That's kind of cool that you could get inside. I didn't think I I thought I thought that this would be half collapsed actually. Yeah. They've kept it. Ooh, there. that's the outhouse. Grotery. I don't know if you can catch a sight of that, but. Oh, I can see it from here. I won't give you a, a close-up tour of it. It's nice that it's um all inside, inside yeah. I'm sure uh, I'm, I'm sure old Ma Goodell appreciated that on those frosty evenings. Only house still standing in the Ricker Basin. All right. Upper cemetery. We've been out here for what, two, two and a half hours? Uh, 
hills. Eighteen sixty. She was ninety-two years old. Man. Eighteen fifty-one. Edmund Cole. Mary Cole. Elvira. We are out here too. <clears throat> so for Edmund Cole, his stone cut shot. The James Carney farm. sitting right here maybe hard to say there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of stone action going on here I suppose that's all stone wall this might have been a barn though sat right here though for house that's definitely a foundation wall right there cool spot old bill classes Farm. Thirteen, I think, was the last time they they were up here. Using the farm, and he died. But his ashes are supposed to be here. Died at 45 years old or something like that. I think we found the other cemetery. The other cemetery is supposed to be hard to find. Harder. 
to find. Okay, off to find the the lost cemetery. Yeah, you can see how it crosses. This is an old bridge right here. Old stone bridge crosses this little creek. Probably find it with the drone. Okay. This is a really nice wall. <clears throat> I like this one. How clean it is. Oh man. This one's off the grid a bit. stones is legible and probably not for long <clears throat> Marianne I can't make it out Wingate Wingate these little ones who knows children maybe if they were carved, you can't see anything anymore. Pretty little spot he made for him. All right. We are in the thick of it. Way off the trail. We left them a little little bouquet of flowers well there's no flowers to pick so unfortunately they're ferns and greens but Jen did find some dried cranberries and put those in there for color since they don't get any visitors up here I imagine all right we travel on Just as we were about to walk past out from the cemetery, upper cemetery, but up there, we found another cellar hole here. I suppose this is the Randall farm. I'm not sure which one this is. I have to check the map. Cool little structure though. Alright, a couple more cemeteries to see, and Gideon Ricker's farm, we're on the way out. Definitely fenced in really well, nice big square opening right over there. No cellar hole, could have been just a maybe a house, just a cabin, no foundation. Alright, let's get back to the main trail. This, this stone wall is intense though. This thing just all the way down. That's a lot of stones. Probably a big barn. Maybe it was the house. Yeah, probably the house. Wow, I like that separation wall right there. Maybe this was the barn then. Or an outbuilding. I'm not sure how many structures we were on. It was a Thomas Holbert farm. But look at this well. Isn't that insane? 
Hold on. All right, so give you a little light. Pretty crazy. All right, now we found Gideon's place. Look at, oh yeah. Look at the size of that wall. Gideon liked his stones. So much so that, look at this. Wow, that is cool. Barn is huge, I wonder if there's a house. We're gonna look around a little bit. Her family plot. Life of Simon Ricker. 1921. That's fairly recent. That one's 1907. These stones are really clean. I wonder if the Ricker family is still present in Waterbury. Gideon Ricker. This is his place. Gideon's house. This is all Gideon's property down here. His house is supposed to be across the street. Oh, there was a Gideon Jr. There's two Gideons. There's two Marys. Phoebe Ricker. Age 100. One month. This is Mary Ricker. There's a lot of Marys too. Beautiful spot though. Stone walls on both sides. And it's sit up on this nice, nice raised plot. Very cool. That's so nice. Look at that little bed. A little tiny child's bed. Right? That thing, that thing looks medieval. I don't want to get hit by that thing. Oh, 
All the glass. Lots of relics on this one. Look at the size of that stone. Very nice. Must have been beautiful, especially with that two-stage wall like that back there. Mm -hmm. That is just such a nice retaining wall, and it just keeps on going. Yeah. All right. We're out of. We're out of here. Saying goodbye to the Gideon Ricker farm. And we're gonna hit the trail again. <laughs>